All right. So quick recap, and then I think we'll call it a day and uh, make sure you guys know what you're going to be doing. So we looked, oh, uh, we looked at the brush system, so clay versus standard. We had our first topology discussion. We're going to have lots of topology discussions. Uh, we really started to get into the clay buildup. We, uh, we uh, uh, blocked in, I was losing that word, we blocked in our form, we established more of the form, we used a slash three, we used standard brush, we used our resolution levels, we uh, talked about edit mode, hot keys, Okay, but as you can tell, there is a lot more to cover. The good news is you have covered everything you need to just sculpt. The bad news is, is it's never just sculpting. You have to get into production stuff. Even this one face, what I've got to do next is figure out a neck. What am I going to do for a neck? How am I going to work that? And so you can experiment with this yourself. Let me just demo what I'm going to do. I'm going to use insert sphere. I'm going to encounter this problem. Your mesh is composed of multiple subdivision levels. Delete or try again. So I want to be able to add a head or add a neck to this and do all kinds of stuff. Add the body. But I don't want to lose that sculpt I just got. You know, I like that sculpt. So we're going to talk about freezing your subdivision levels, being able to get in and really start to tweak things. This is all the stuff we're going to be talking about next week. So you can say add a neck or let's go in. I'm going to turn floor off. Let's add a body. Whoops. Go back to the move brush, pull this around, bada bing, bada bing. Insert sphere, go to the move brush, start to establish the shoulders coming in. And basically rebuild a little bit more to my base mesh. Let me switch to the inflate, B-I-N-G-O, <laughs> bingo was his name-o. Uh, let's go into build up, okay, and control click and drag to clear my mask. I now have a new model. Go ahead and try this if you want. I am going to cover how to use that insert sphere which is right there, how to freeze subdivision levels. But you can also just get in and start whacking that together yourself. And then just click freeze subdivision levels and see what happens. Does it keep my sculpt? Notice that it's projecting. So something's happening. Oh my. Look at that. If I turn polyframe on, I've got all of those individual parts. I've got my sculpt masked so that I can be adjusting these things. But I have basically clay, extra clay for me to work with. And now if I wanted to fuse them into one body, that's when we get into DynaMesh. I haven't covered that because there's a lot of stuff on DynaMesh on the internet and the most important thing to me is that you really get in and sculpt and get control of your edging. But I'll do it right now. So I'm going to set this resolution to 125. I'm going to DynaMesh. And do I want to freeze subdivision levels? Let's hit yes. Let's turn polyframe on. So it hasn't actually DynaMeshed. Let's do it again. 
turn DynaMesh off, freeze subdivisions off. It has been, but we're recasting it. And in fact, this might be a problem because it's reapplying six levels to this. Can I escape? Extreme audio problems. And the system's going to just kind of shut down for a little bit. Because I have now hit a polygon limit. I am managing polygons, asking it to do more than it really wants to do. Can you hear me okay? Sign of the RAM. <laughs> yes. Now, this may technically need to be, I may need to end it, which you might think is bad. Hey, Ryan crashed ZBrush, right? It's not. You know, it's not. This is, this is an actual law of nature that we are messing with. How many polygons can you get through CPO? This is how fast can you move that electricity? How fast can those signals work? And I'll tell you right now that uh, ZBrush was designed to be a hair trigger uh, sports car. They, they wanted it to be a little bit luxury, but mostly sports. And I, this was the metaphor the dev, uh, the, um, the dev team was kind of working with when, with me. How do I explain ZBrush? Uh, you may not understand all the features that are in there, but man, this baby can move. We've just hit the wall here, and that's just par for the course. So we are now at our end ticket. Let me close out. Peter, not sure I understood what you were saying. Okay, we're going to close that. Uh, last things to end with, let me just restart ZBrush. Thanks, Michael. I have a Pinterest board for you guys. Uh, let me put that in the note in the chat. This is just where I'm collecting reference for you for, for, uh, for everything we're doing. So there's some facial reference, body reference, stuff like that. Feel free to follow this board. And let's go into projects and let's bring our guy back in. Actually, this is one of the beauties of QuickSafe. Da dun da dun Even though it crashed right there in quick save was all those annoying times that it was saving It's all right there I love that Thanks Paul Okay sorry I want to mention one more technical thing before you go because as you save your models your undo history is going to get large and uh, between now and then one of the most uh, common problems for you to run into between now and next week is your undo histories will become like 5,000. If that starts to happen you need to delete the history because otherwise it's going to be insane to open and you, and you need to really ask the question do I really need that history? Uh, and the files are very large as well. All right. Okay, guys. You have support at ZBrush Workshops as an email. You have nate at zbrushworkshops.com as an email. And then you have uh, me, Ryan, at ZBrush Workshops. You have our phone number. We have a weekly Google Hangout, which we're going to email you about uh, next week. There's a lot of ways to reach us. Please reach us. 
This is honestly my life's work. So it's important that I talk to you. Uh, and it's and you're never bugging me. Don't ever think you know. Uh, you're you know. I, let's not call Ryan because you know he's got a million things to do. I I I got a million things to do. Sure. Um, and that's just because you know, I love to do stuff. But you are one of those million things, and you're very important to me. And I want you to learn ZBrush and be very comfortable in it. And I want you to master this, so that you are my ambassador moving forward for ZBrush awesomeness. Any questions? Lots to do. Okay. Your job is to sculpt heads. Don't just sculpt heads start to develop form start to develop the nose start to develop the lips the face you know the the anatomy as much as you can and it's just faces go character i'm fine with caricatures i'm fine with realistic i'm fine with just trying to get something done it's all good i'm really looking for th a couple of things i'm looking to know one what is who are you are you a guy who likes, who's traditional? Are you a guy who really just wants to do realistic stuff? That's going to change the way I talk to you. Are you a guy who loves caricatures and wants to do that? It's going to change the things I say. I'm not going to talk about anatomy as much as I'm going to talk about stylized form. And I'm going to be thinking about Danny Williams. You know, those things are all really important to me. So I want to know where, who you are, what are your primary focuses. I need to know where your skill level is in ZBrush. So if you show up with this thing kind of basic form established, then I'll know one thing. If you show up with hair flowing in the wind, then you know I need to, I need to level up <laughs> and, and really talk to you at that level. So this is really about you and I getting to know each other this week, and it gets much more intense. So we can look at the rest of these guys and what's coming up. So we have polygons, your new sculpting material. We have that next week. The brush system is week three. Hard surface systems one is week four. I really go into visibility, the clip brushes, dyna mesh, you know, clay tubes, all that stuff. Okay, texturing, topology, hard surface, patterns, rendering, and exporting. So there's a lot to do. Don't worry. Take your time this week. We're going to get hardcore and intense. All right, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Happy Father's Day uh, to all the fathers out there. Uh, one, yeah, happy Father's Day. And, uh, and then I think we're going to aim for a meeting on Wednesday, a Google Hangout, I think. But let me email you. Uh, and you'll get an email when this is online with a link to access it. Any problems with access, email uh, me. This week, email me. I'm going to keep an eye on that. All right, Daniel, Paul, Kathleen, Ryan, Marco, Wilfred, David. Thank you so much for joining me here, guys, on this first session. Steve, Carly, great to see you here. I know you're not going to be able to make them all. Hans Singer. So glad to have you in class again. Paul, Vincent, Peter. Yeah, Peter and everybody, please uh, share, uh, talk to each other in the hub. It's there for you. Uh, if you need to talk to me, talk to me via email. But you can talk to each other on the hub, and I'll be in there every now and then. All right, Paul. Take it easy. See you guys either Wednesday or next week uh, or next Saturday. And remember, next Saturday, 1 p.m. in Los Angeles. If you're ever confused about time, Google time in Los Angeles because that PDT stuff is just crazy. P.S., P.D., P. What, P. Diddy, and then I'm gone. Yeah, or 6 a.m. for some of you.
Take care, Ronnie. See you, David. All right, I'm going to close out of this, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.